Today on Skull Bits, we're going to set up GNS3 on VMware ESXi. Using GNS3 is a great alternative to using real physical hardware when learning about and testing various network technologies. There are a few different ways you can install and configure GNS3, but today I'm going to walk you through my preferred method, which is setting up GNS3 on VMware ESXi. VMware ESXi runs directly on the hardware, and the advantage of that is that when we put GNS3 on ESXi, it's going to allow us to use all of the resource available on that machine. Using other methods such as VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, it forces you to share your resources with your operating system, applications, and services. So enough with the small talk. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to pull up my browser here and I'm already at gns3.com and when you get to their uh, web uh, homepage, it's going to give you this free download link right there in the middle. So we'll click on that. We're not going to use any of these options. These are all for running ESXi or sorry, GNS3 directly on your um, laptop or desktop computer. Um, so instead, we're going to click this uh, link down here, which is easy to miss. Um, it says download the GNS3 VM. And we're presented with uh, more options here. We're going to select the third one here, which is for VMware ESXi. If you were going to run it on VirtualBox, Workstation, or uh, Hyper-V, you would choose one of these other links. So let's just ch choose the ESXi link here. And I'll pause the video while this download completes. All right, our download has completed. So let's go ahead and pull up our downloads folder. And here's the file that I've downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and extract the file. Now that that's done, I can delete the original file that I downloaded. And let's open up the folder here. And it just gives us one file, and that's our .ova, which we'll, we will import into ESXi. So now that we're done here, I can close this window. And on this tab, I have my management interface for VMware ESXi. So I'm going to go ahead and logged in here. Right now you can see I have no virtual machines here. I'm going to just click on create or register a VM and I'm going to choose the section second option here, which is uh, deploy a virtual machine from OVF or OVA file. And I'm just going to give it the name GNS3, simple enough. And in this blue box, this is where we'll drag the file we just downloaded. So let's drag our OVA into here. Click next. Uh, this on this page is asking you where you want to store it. I only have one data store on this machine, so it's automatically selected. So let's click next. I always choose thin provision. Um, you know, actually, if you don't have enough space um, for how big it thinks the VM is, and you click thick, it, the It'll actually fail to install, and that's what would happen on this box. Um, so I'm going to leave it at thin. Choose to power on automatically. It's just going to give us a rundown of the options we selected. So let's click finish. And I'll pause the video while the OVA is being imported. All right. Our OVA has completed importing, so I'm going to go ahead and select it here. In just a second, we should see it boot up. All right, so I was waiting for nothing. It's already booted up here. Um, on this machine, or on this uh, 
screen here, what you'll see is that it has already received an IP from DHCP. So let's go ahead and see if we can get to that now. Um, let's see, it's 192.168.1.98. All right, there we are. So it brings us straight up to GNS3. But what I would like to do is have a static IP on this because I don't want my IP uh, changing every time I come on here to run it. So I'm going to click on this screen. Hopefully this is large enough for you to see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and full screen this. Ah, that doesn't help. Um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here, but I'll, I'll try to describe it as best as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And that brings us up to a menu, which is actually hard, even hard for me to see now. So you may have some uh, trouble seeing it here. But what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the N key because that takes us down to these network settings here. Um, but if, if you know, it's hard to see here. So all you have to do is hit N and then hit enter. And then it's going to just tell us that it will reboot after we finish reconfiguring the network settings here. So I'm just going to agree to that. And what this does, it brings us into a basically a text file that is the configuration file for the network settings here. And you'll see the pound sign or hashtag sign at the beginning of each line. And that just means they're all um, um, commented here, um, which means it's basically ignoring everything in this file. And when it is set that way, it just automatically is set to um, get an IP address from DHCP. Um, so what we're going to do is go down, starting at this network line here, we're going to basically delete all of the hashtags or pound symbols here, or number signs, whatever you want to call it. We're going to comment all of those out, or sorry, uncomment those. Um, and then we're going to change our IP address. And you can also see here DHCP, now that we've uncommented, it's, it's saying, no, don't use DHCP. So we're going to change our IP address here. And let's see. I think I'll use uh, 45. No, that one's free. And we also have to change our gateway. This will vary depending on how your network is set up. It's actually dot two fifty four. And then our name servers will just leave those as they are if you've got a if you got your own DNS server on your network, you can change that however you need to. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of different options here. Um, all you really need to know is Control X will exit out of this. Um, on Mac, that's probably Command X. But when I hit Control X, it's going to ask me if I want to save the changes. So I'll just hit Y to save the changes. And then down at the bottom, it's hard to see, um, but it, after you do that, we're still not done. It's going to show you the file name that it's going to write to, and we'll just leave the default and hit enter there to allow it to save the file. So when I did that, you see it automatically rebooted. All right, and you can see it doesn't take long for it to reboot. Um, so from here, looking at our information page here, you can see that my IP has indeed changed to 192.168.45. So hit escape there to get out of full screen. 
And what we're going to do now, go back over. I refresh. You'll see it's having a little trouble because it's no longer our IP address. So let's put in our new IP address. Hit enter. And there we go. All right, so we're back in there. And so let's go ahead and test this out and see if everything's working. So I'm going to click on add a blank project. And I'm just going to call it test. Click add project. And here we are in GNS3. So let's add a couple of things here. We'll add a couple of PCs and we'll add a switch. Let's just drag these around to make it a little nicer. And we're going to connect those up. So we'll click the add link here. Choose Ethernet zero. And on the switch, we'll choose Ethernet zero. And for this one, Ethernet zero, and we'll choose Ethernet one on the switch. All right, now that we've got those there, we'll hit the button here to start all of our nodes. And you see everything turned green. And I'll right click PC one. And I'm going to open a web console. Do the same here. PC2. Let's right click each one again, and we're going to edit the config. So you'll see this is just like our configuration file for GNS3. Everything's commented out. So I'm just going to uncomment this line by deleting the hashtag. And I'm going to, I'll leave the IP as it is. So it's 192.168.1.1. So we'll apply that and come over here and do the same thing to the other. PC, so we're going to uncomment this line and we're just going to change this one to dot two. All right, with that done, we should be able to go ping these two devices. So I'm on PC one here. I'm going to ping 192.168.1.2. Yeah. Can't remember, is that what I set the configuration to? Oh, you know what? You have to you have to reload on these before it gets that change. So let's now that we've clicked reload up here, um go back into our web console. And let's try this again. So ping 192.168.1.2. And you can see we're getting pings. So there you have it. We've got GNS3 installed on top of VSXI. And we've given it a test and everything's working.